Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pandeep and in today's video we are going to discuss about random forest classifier. In our previous video we discussed its uh, mathematical intuition and how it actually works on whiteboard. In today's video we are going to do its Python implementation and for today's example we are going to pick Irish data set as our data. So I have used this data set in my previous videos as well. So basically this data set lies with uh, SQLearn library and uh, what this data set is all about. So you are given with uh, four feature which are sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. And you need to classify based on these features, you need to classify what type of flower it is. So basically it is uh, data about the flower um, and these flowers could be like setosa varis color and virginica you can see here so uh, our target that means the target category could have uh, one of the values one of these three values so so let's get started with today's video so very first i am going to use basic thing like i am just importing the required libraries importing pandas as pd and importing numpy as and p and uh, now from uh, since we are using this data set so from sqlearn dot data sets um, we are going to import load load data sets we are uh, sorry we are going to use uh, load iris so you can see that all these are the data sets so we are going to use load iris and uh, so what it will do, uh, I will create an object of load iris class and it will give me the uh, complete iris object, uh, object of that class. And from that object, we can check that what we have. Uh, you type dot and uh, hit a tab. Then you can see that these are the these are the things which are available with the iris. So if I'll say iris data. So since this is already clean data, so I'm just directly assigning into my X variable, which is my feature matrix, you can say, or independent variable, whatever you can say. And in Y, I can use iris.target. So this will give me the target column. So I have assigned into it. Now my X and Y are ready. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to use train test split, which is again with the library, SQLearn library from SQLearn. Dot, uh, it is in model selection module and uh, from SQLearn dot module uh, model selection import train test split. So we create an object of train test split class and inside it we pass our X feature matrix uh, and Y and then we pass test size. Test size is basically how much of data we want to keep for. Uh, testing purpose and there is one more variable random state random state is we give some random value it to it and based on it uh, it uh, our uh, this uh, train test splitting is done so if i say three it will pick some some random sample from that particular uh, data for testing size and if i give two it may pick another and if i then again give three it will pick the same uh, which have uh, which it have picked earlier when we have given three values. So it is just a uh, number to choose uh, the samples for testing purpose uh, from that uh, whole data set. So I'm going to assign it into my respective variables x train x test and y train and y test after this uh, my data has been splitted out and now i can uh, create the model so again from sqlearn dot uh, uh, ensemble module there is ensemble module import import 
random forest classifier since we are using random forest classifier uh, it for classification problem so we are going to use random forest classifier if we have to use it for regression you can see that there is a random forest regression is also there so we create that in that case after that what we are going to do we are going to create an object of random forest classifier and uh, we are going to pass some values parameters an estimator an estimator tells us that how many decision tree we want to create uh, while creating our random forest so if i say 10 that means so my random forest classifier would be containing 10 decision trees so i assigned it to a model very well and now my model is ready now i can do the training part for that i am going to use model.fit and i am going to pass train x train and y train so once that part is done my uh, training has been done now i can check uh, the score of my model using model.score and it will tell me how accurate uh, my model is so in this we have to pass sorry i have I forget to pass x test and y test so now we can see that uh, our model is giving accuracy of 95 percent 0 0.95 means 95 percent so uh, the next thing that i'm going to show you is that how the parameters that are passed during creating our model and uh, they affect the accuracy so if i say my n estimators as 20 that means i am considering 20 decision trees while creating a random forest and i did the training over again and i can check now my model score has increased it is 97 percent the similar way there are another parameters like uh, you can see that uh, there is one parameter which is max features which tells you that uh, how many features you want to take into consideration while uh, creating your decision trees so if i say in this case in this particular example we have um, uh, four features so we can give max up to four so let's say if i give three as uh, my max feature value and then you can see that it has uh, some negative impact on it it has decreased the score value uh, so there might be uh, some some problem with it so uh, what we can do we can uh, we can let's say if i decrease it to one then i check now you can say again it has decreased so what i am going to do i am keep i am going to keep at it as three and i am going to increase my uh, an estimator so machine learning is all about you know train uh, doing or checking different uh, things so and you can then find out the which one is the best thing so and if i if i say uh, if i removed it then it means that i am not giving uh, manually uh, my model will automatically decide how many feature it is taking uh, while creating the random forest and then you can see that uh, model score is 95 percent one more thing i want to show it to you that uh, in this uh, we can check that there is one more thing uh, using confusion matrix we can check where our model is doing correct and where our model is doing incorrect or having uh, incorrect prediction for that we can use confusion matrix and confusion matrix again lies with your sklearn library so how we can do that is we can we can import confusion matrix from in uh, sklearn dot matrix and we just pass our uh, y test and y predicted and for that uh, y predicted to be in place what i'm going to use y predicted y predicted is the values that are predicted by our model so we can do that model dot predict and we can pass our x test so now y predicted contains that and this is uh, you can see that some matrix has been uh, printed here 
but this is not very intuitive way to understand it what this information is telling to us so what we can do we can plot it using matplot and uh, sns heat map so let me do that very quickly so what we are going to do is we are going to so from uh, i am importing uh, matplot.pyplot use as a plt and seabone library now here i am giving the size of my figure like how big figure i want on my screen so 5 cross 5 and sn dot heat map uh, i want to heat map of this cm variable and cm is this one which is my confusion matrix and annotate true means it will uh, i will tell you how what what is the effect of annotate is equal to true on x label i have predicted values on y label i have truth values so if i print this you can see that all these are my truth on the y axis and uh, on the x axis these are my predicted you can see that we have three types of uh, flower to predict uh, so these are the these are represented as 0 1 and 2 and the similar way 0 1 and 2 so how to read this confusion matrix to read this confusion matrix one thing is that uh, on the diagonal all the values are correct that means they were uh, of um, they are correctly predicted that means um, for this case let's say in this case uh, for zero class zero class is that means is setosa that means for setosa type of flower uh, 17 these 17 uh, times it has predicted correct and it was a setosa so that means truth means uh, it was a setosa flower and my prediction is also 17 the similar way i'm first talking only the diagonal values the similar way my truth was uh, one that means my truth was this flower very scholar uh, and it has predicted 13 time correct you can see that and the similar way uh, 13 time uh, my model had predicted the third type of flower which is virginica which is represented by two and what about these values which are not on diagonal so this values for example this one this one represents that my truth was one that means my truth was actually this flower was very scholar but it was predicted as virginica so this is how we can read the uh, confusion matrix the similar way my truth was in this case in this one uh, in this case my truth was uh, this virginica flower but my prediction was uh, very scholar so this is how we can uh, learn or we can kind of uh, understand the information which is uh, represented by uh, our confusion matrix so that's all for today's video uh, for random forest classifier you guys can always uh, play around with uh, different parameters while creating our any any of the model and you always pick the best uh, best uh, parameters their combination which gives you the best value and uh, we generally deploy that which gives the best accuracy and that's uh, all about the random forest classifier and that's all for today's video thanks for watching till then bye bye take care and stay tuned for more videos on Machine learning. Thank you. Bye.